Hi guys, in this video I'm going to talk to you about correctly setting up artwork for printing specifically for business cards, letterheads, compliment slips and flyers. In the series of videos we're going to be mainly using Adobe Creative Cloud. However, if you don't have access to that, there is a trial package available on their website. I'll pop the links in the description below. Working in the print and design industry we see a few common problems for customers supplying artwork. These range from artwork wrongly sized or scaled, poor quality pixelated files and no bleed or crop marks supplied with the artwork. So just create a new document, make sure it's on the print tab, and then this is where you pop in your sizes. So business card sizes, 85 millimeters by 55 millimeters. You can also add your bleed in here now. Most companies recommend a three mil bleed, but I'd say if you pop a five mil in, then you're gonna, you're gonna be all right. Click off the box, it sets, automatically sets all the way around for five mil. Make sure your color mode CMYK as well. More settings, there's not too much to go in there, just click create document. Now you've got your document set up with the red line around the outside showing where your bleed is going to be. Just make sure you keep all your key elements within the box and then any color that goes beyond the edge goes to the red line for your bleed line as well. So I'm just going to import some artwork that I've been working on for another customer. The artwork set at the 85 by 55 but obviously to give it the, the printers the maximum amount of bleed I'm just going to extend the background magenta colour all the way up to the red border line for the bleed once this is done all you have to do now is click file save as PDF pop it in the desktop give it a name click save a lot of print companies recommend using the PDFX, but we use high quality print here. Just pop down to marks and bleeds, add all the printer's marks, use document bleed settings. Once that document's saved, just double check everything's sorted. As you can see, the bleeding crop marks are all the way around, so that file is now ready to go to print. So now we've sized up the artwork correctly, we've added the bleeding crop marks. I just want to show you quickly the quality. I'm just going to zoom straight in. As you can see, all the lines in the text are really crisp. Um, you're not going to have any pixelation problems with this artwork as it's been totally made in the Adobe Illustrator package so it's all vector based. A lot of the issues that we see customers having is where they're importing JPEGs of a lower resolution into artwork. When they import the JPEGs, the pixelation, that's where most of the problem occurs there. Another reason pixelation might occur is if you've made the artwork in Illustrator, you've just saved out wrong. This is a document that's been set up to A4 size. As you can see, the actual artwork is the 85 by 55. When you've come to save out the artwork, if you just export it as a TIFF, I'll just give you a preview of this. When you zoom in, can you see how different the text is compared to what it was with the PDF file? If you can, always try and save out your artwork as a PDF or an EPS file. So this was just a quick tutorial on how to set up files ready for printing. We've covered the business card setups, but if you want to do letterheads, comp slips, flyers, all you've got to do is change those initial document setup sizes. So complement slips would be 210 by 99 mil, letterheads 210 by 297 mil, and then if you wanted to do A5 flyers, 148 by 210. Thank you guys for watching, if you'd like to see any more tutorials please leave me a comment, if you liked the video please give me a thumbs up, if you didn't thumbs down, and more importantly if you can give me a subscribe that would be great.